stock control as you might already guess um, here that is just um, a stock control if you're selling tangible products such as books or CDs or DVDs or maybe computers or stuff that you can ship physically you want to have stock control there and you can put the quantity in stock you have so since we are selling digital services we won't be doing that so I'm gonna skip that sort order here is where you put um, the order of this product on your um, product and services page or the shopping cart on the WHMCS so now I want to put this on the very top one which is zero so I'm just gonna have three products so just simple that'll be zero the second one one the third product will be, will have the two sort order okay okay so um, taxes apply tax for this particular um, example I'm not gonna apply tax so we're gonna dis uh, di discuss that at a later um, videos so for now I'm gonna leave it unchecked now before before you switch to another tab the pricing tab here on the top before you do that you want to save changes first okay just make sure you click save changes as as often as, as possible make sure you have the data you entered saved before going further so I'm gonna just do that save changes so then I'm gonna move forward to the second tab which is pricing okay here you can actually set up your pricing up to three year pricing okay now for this particular product which is free so I'm gonna choose free here right so you have three options either it's a free product it's a one-time payment product or a recurring payment product which you can bill every month every three months every six months every year every two year and every three years now they have an option for that so that's that so for this particular product I'm just gonna choose free and everything is gonna be zero I'm gonna explain a little bit later on the second product which is not free and we're gonna talk about this a little bit more so prorated billing date charge next month and everything I'm gonna leave it empty okay so now I'm gonna save changes and move forward to do module settings okay so now this is the module settings now since we are going to set up a, a entirely different product than hosting services so I'm not going to use this uh, module which is available here but I'm going to create my own module so I'm going to create a, a different or a new a WHMCS module or plugin which is called Eat Memo, and I'm going to install it and it's going to be available here Eat Memo. but for now which um, because I haven't created the Eat Memo plugin yet so I'm not going to do that so I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to go back here later when we're going to apply my Eat Memo um, surface um, for testing phase so I'm going to show you that as well on the on the later video so for now I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to click save changes because we have no module set next custom fields so what is this a custom field is a field you want to um, add when clients are signing up let's do an example okay let's open up a new tab and I'm gonna go eat memo dot com slash clients now here we can 
order a new service right um, the order link which is here as you can see we're gonna click that so as you can see we have this one and let's move forward and I'm gonna check out now here WHMCS are asking um, default questions as you can see here right but you can actually ask additional questions you want to ask or you want to collect from your clients so that's what the custom fields are all about so let's just do that let's try and ask an, a custom product and I'm gonna um, name the field we're gonna ask how did you find how did you find out about it memo okay how did you find us so that's the field name the or I think we can put spaces here how did you find us the field type I'm gonna use drop down button and description let us know how you find how you know about it memo validation we don't need any validation it's just a simple questions um, select option I'm gonna use YouTube Facebook Twitter TV ads magazine ads radio radio ads and search engine restaurants other and I'm gonna make this a required field so make sure people answer this question and I'm gonna show this on the order form then I'm gonna save changes so that's saved and you can add another one here as you can see you can sorry about that you can add as many custom fields as you want now let's look at this one I'm gonna refresh the page scroll down wait 